Okay, we are going to read about Iron Man, which is, in my opinion, I think my brother's favorite Marvel superhero. Uh, he even dressed up as Tony Stark and looked pretty darn good, and he had the little glowy, one of those top lights pretending to be the glowy thing in Iron Man's chest. So this is Iron Man Armored Adventures Deep Freeze by Frank Berrios, illustrated by Michael Borkowski, based on the original teleplay Cold War by Eugene Sung. Of course, like Stan Lee and someone else started the original. An alarm sounded over Iron Man's com communicator. There was trouble at Stark Industries. When Iron Man arrived, he was shocked to see that the building was completely covered in ice. As he approached a mysterious masked man wearing a freeze-powered cryo pack, the stranger turned and fired an icy blast. Oh no, is Iron Man okay? But the blast wasn't aimed at Iron Man. It froze the Stark Industries security robot behind the armored hero. The robot sparked and fizzled as it iced over. The stranger's name was Blizzard. As a scientist, he had once worked with and even double-crossed by the head of Stark Industries, Obadiah Stain. I've come back for my research, and when I find it, I'm taking Stain down, said Blizzard. Let's see what happened. Iron Man understood all too well. Inside the armor, he was really a teenager named Tony Stark. A teenager? Not all grown up? Obadiah Stane had taken over Stark Industries after Tony's father died. Tony was trying to expose Stane as a power-hungry villain. I've only got one question for you, said Iron Man. How can I help? But their plan would have to wait. Tony was late for class. He calls himself Blizzard, Tony told his friend James. Rhodey Rhodes when he got to school. I should have known I'm not the only one checked off at staying. Something about Blizzard gave Rhodey chills. He told Tony not to trust his new ally too quickly. That's important. Make sure you can trust them. Oh, my foot. That's what happens when you sit on it. Let's see here. Later that day, Iron Man helped Blizzard get into Stark Industries warehouse, but he soon realized that what Blizzard was really up to. He was creating some kind of ice weapon. It's the weapon Stain tried to build using my research, Blizzard explained. Blizzard removed his mask to show Iron Man his face. It had been scarred in an accident, a result of Stain's disregard for the safety of his workers. This is what Stain does when there's no one there to stop him, said Blizzard. He destroyed my life. If we don't stop him, he'll destroy others. Are you in? I'm in, replied Iron Man. Yeah. Leon, please get down. Here's what his face looks like. Poor Blizzard. Iron Man and Blizzard found the top secret chamber where Stain had hidden Blizzard's research and equipment. Blizzard used his cryopack to make the floor and walls as brittle as a thin layer of ice. Then Iron Man smashed them with ease. Crash! Once inside, they were surrounded. Oh no. Get down please, Leon. Get down please. Yeah, get down before you fall. Be careful, honey. Thank you. Free, shouted one of the guards. Blizzard unleashed a wave of ice over the guards. Iron Man did a quick bioscan. The guards were alive, but their vital signs were dropping. Leon, no, 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 honey, you'll get hurt. Stay down. Yeah, come over here. Nope, hold on. Sorry, guys, I'll be right back. All right, so we just found out the guards' vital signs are dropping because they're frozen. Hopefully they're going to be okay. Iron Man wasted no time. He used his repulsor beams to melt the ice and save the guards. What's the matter with you, yelled Iron, Iron Man. You could have killed them. A small price to pay for stopping Stain, replied Blizzard coldly. Oop, I forgot to show you guys the other page. I'm sorry. Here we go. There's when they got frozen. And there's where Iron Man saved them. Good job, Iron Man. I want to take down Stain too, but you can't hurt innocent people, Iron Man said. I'll do worse than hurt them if they get in my way. 
Blizzard growled as he grabbed Iron Man. Tony felt every inch of his iron armor begin to freeze. He fired up his jet boost thrusters and rocketed away. Back in his secret lab, Tony continued to shiver from Blizzard's ice-cold touch as he worked on a pair of heat ray gauntlets. You were right about Blizzard, he told Rhodey. He's going after Stain and he'll hurt anyone who gets in his way. I've got to stop him and this time I'll be dressed for cold weather. Hopefully he can save anyone that Blizzard tries to get that's innocent. Without Iron Man around to interfere, Blizzard easily made his way to Obadiah Stain's office. He was finally about to have his revenge. You destroyed my life, Blizzard yelled at Stain, but the accident made my machine work much better. Let me show you. Suddenly, Iron Man smashed through the windows wearing his new gauntlets. Yay, Iron Man! You should have stayed away, warned Blizzard. Stain's going to get what's coming to him, and now you are too. Don't do this, Blizzard, replied Iron Man, his gauntlets protecting him from the cold. Blizzard turned his cryo pack up to full power. He was going to freeze the entire building. Oh no, all those innocent people. With no time to spare, Iron Man threw Blizzard against a wall. Blizzard's cryo pack shattered, releasing all of its stored freezing power. Within seconds, the villain was imprisoned in solid sphere of ice. Everyone inside the Stark Industries building was saved. Even Obadiah Stain. Later, alone in his secret lab, Tony Stark thought about Blizzard. The icy villain could have been a force for good, but he had let his desire for revenge chill his heart. Tony vowed that as Iron Man, he would avenge those who had been wronged, but he would never seek revenge for its own sake. Good job. The end. You guys have a good weekend. Bye.